Hi, I'm Pete Firth. I'm a head frother here at Frothcraft Bun Brewery, where we specialise in mouthfuls. It's pretty crazy that with this boom of craft beer going on around the state, the country and the world, Bunbury never had a, a brewery. So we thought we would just bring something that made sense everywhere else. <laughs> and uh, Towns received it really, really warmly. Yeah. It's a social hub. It's a, it's a community go to and there's a lot of different facets of, of what we do. It's really cool just to be able to put on so many different things and present it all under the banner of, of froth. Hey go guys! Comedy is definitely one that Bunbury's flocked to. Um, we hosted the Cat Empire at a large concert as part of the Bunbury show. Um, and I think something else was just regular original live music. We, we don't have cover bands, we don't have cover acts or tribute bands. We really want to be a platform for local aspiring artists. Bunbury's two hours south of Perth and a perfect stop off for really high quality and high profile acts and they are really keen to come and play here. Creativity to me means trying to do things that you don't often see around and about and within the craft beer industry that's that's saying something if you can be unique. Ultimately what we're giving here is an experience. It's coming in whether it's for food, drink, a family friendly culture. <laughs> Bunbury is that perfect size. It's still the the hot spot and the um, the commuted to central business district for the whole southwest. And I think the, the tech industry and everything that's going on here now and with some different prospects is really showing that people aren't just migrating out of Bunbury perhaps to go seek further specialised fields, but more people are coming in to try to diversify the, the quality of offerings we've got here. Just want to try to blend in with offerings of what the venue and the business does with the demands of the community, but trying to present it in a way that they might not have seen before. So we've kind of got a lot to live up to just based on the address. Um, and the history and, and memory that people have of here. The future for froth in Bunbury looks hopefully bright.